Um, and uh, we're driving the 150. This is from Bristol to Western Supermare, so it's not a massive uh, journey. Right, so we need to get the doors open here. And let's look in here. So I need to freeze the camera so it's not floating all around. Put it on day nights, turn the tail lights off, marker lights on, instrument lights on, and destination indicator on. That's it for that. Over here, I need to put the master key in, and then I can switch that to forward. And we can. Uh, I did. I was kind of hoping that my fix to the brake would work, but it doesn't seem to be. So I'm going to have to use the brake on the keyboard. Ah, that's nice. Uh, rather than the rail driver. Boo. But either way, we are about ready to go now. Ah, the lag is real. Another one over there. That's the wind-up key for the train, says Moggy. All right, then. So this scenario is 2 Yankee Zero 4 Bristol to Western Supermare by De Hassel. Is there a hotkey for ditch lights? Uh, it depends on the train. Um, I think some of the newer ones they do, I can't remember what it is, but it might be J I think, maybe, might be J. Um, is the Q key to deactivate C for it? It's either the Q key or the numpad enter. Officially I think it's the numpad enter key, but quite often Q key will work as well. Am I using track IR city mapper? I am indeed using track IR. What you've got to remember to BNSF is when you start before you start moving, you need to take the DRA off um, because that's locking the uh, controls out. on the NRN test, radio is ok and we are now ready to depart so I shall release the brakes DRA off and we're off Oh, uh, Willy Boy, why is the control for the class 150 not compatible with the rail driver? Because it uses a ton of extra scripting and uh, bespoke controls and all sorts of things. Um, and the rail driver basically requires um, trains to be reasonably standard. It copes with the newer ones that use standard reverse uh, virtual controls. But uh, because the nature of trains is that people can name things pretty much anything they like, if they haven't named it, something standard then you need to write a custom script to do it which you can do so you can make the rail driver compatible um, I mean in my case I fixed the reverser I fixed the throttle I thought I'd fix the brake but apparently I haven't <laughs> I was fixing it while it was uh, in the um, um, while it was in the loading screen while you were listening to the music so I couldn't actually test it <laughs> Never mind. Once I've finished the stream, I can go back and uh, I can have a quick look and see if I can fix it. Is it possible to look around the cab freely without a track IR? Well, if you right click and move your mouse around, then you can look around the cab. Uh, or you can use a program called Free Track No uh, Face Track No IR. Um, I think there's a Free Track as well or something like that. And those will do basically, they'll use your webcam to do head code, uh, to do um, following. People are saying we've got, have we got source? Have we got sauce? Has the ketchup arrived? 
move the mouse around then. I don't want to move the mouse around then. I'm using my, I'm using my head to move the mouse around. Right, Bedminster is our next stop. No source. Why are people saying we've got transcoding? Probably thinking that we ought to have transcoding by now, but sadly we don't. We don't get transcoding pretty much anymore. I guess they've uh, either reduced the number of the, their capacity or the ones that are they've brought another load of premium um, servers on and that's uh, eliminated all the spare capacity. HST heading in the other direction. Right, doors are open. I've got a green light, so I don't need DRA. Right, next station is Parsons Streets. No problem at all, Willie boy. See you later. <laughs> few locos the throttle can go into negative values. Uh, that may be one of the ways they've decided to handle um, combined handles rather than using the throttle and brake controller. They, you could use a throttle controller, uh, a virtual throttle and use negative values. It really depends on how they've scripted the loco. It's certainly possible and there's nothing wrong with it. Skynet the new move on. <laughs> Alright, we're coming into Parsons Street now. Okay, note to self, this one's got pretty decent brakes. Doors open. BNSF, can you suggest a tutorial? Um, yeah, of course you can. F7, F8 for the destination board, is it? I don't know that. This might be a while. Oxford, Paddington, Reading, Taunton, Templecombe, York. Oh, it doesn't go out of Western Super. <laughs> Get the doors open. And the green light accelerating up to 90. Thank you. 
Oh, it should be special, should it? I need to go all the way back again. Exeter apparently should be the destination, right? Huh? Oh, of course. Well, no, it's Bristol's Western Super Mail, but Exeter's and Davis. Now then, it's a destination. Five point four miles. Apparently, I need to remember to do the back. So let's flip around. And... No, what's happening around the front? Then? No. Okay, that didn't work. No, I'll tell you what, we'll just do this. <laughs> Sounds good, BMG Epic. Uh, OMG, uh, I'm not quite sure why it reset itself back to zero again. Again, I'm, I only just set up the rail driver to talk to the loco. I might have a bug in my script. Oh, I'll do it stop. That's a good idea, Cameron's gaming. Getting a bit cool in the cab, isn't it, Monty? Nails in Blackwell, the next station. So we're taking the deviation off of the uh, main line. So essentially, we come along down here, and then this is the line over to Western, and we can, we're going to be finishing here. And we're stopping at Nebworth, that's a plan. I'm not gonna make anything say anything beyond that. Got green, that's good. C. Rogers. I'm not sure there is a single carriage version of this one. The nearest one to it, I guess, is a 153, but that uh, coaxes are longer. Have I brought my ankle with me? <laughs> Nails in Blackwell's coming up now. Yeah. 
the biggest thing BNSF is to make because all the lights you don't really need to do anything with. The key thing is the master key, put it in forward, reset the AWS and then take the DRA off. Now the track is there. Bristol to Exeter is only rare, fairly rough when it comes to the uh, track. Let me zoom it in a little bit. See the track is there. Alright, coming into Nails in Blackwell. Yeah, the DRA is a common one. I'm quite frequently forgetting to turn off the DRA. <laughs> oh yes, French Stalin is off for two weeks. What will we do? We'll, we shall enjoy a quiet stream. <laughs> exactly like it is. Yeah, it's exactly it's acting exactly like it is. Maybe the local one is the one that crashed. Oh, that looks fine. Ah technology. Right. Are we working now? Hey! Cheers, Willy Boy! <laughs> we shall all miss you, friend Stalin. We shall miss you. And uh, I'm sure we shall look forward to you coming back. Yes, next stop is Yatton. Most of all, make sure you have a good time wherever you're going. It's down to 700% because the way they've set them up is um, the loco. It's like it goes up to notch seven essentially, um, and each and that's multiplied by 100. So rather than doing it naught to one, they've, uh, they've set it up as naught to seven, which comes up as 700% on the uh, on the display. Uh, Rob Allen says there's new software out for the rail driver. Excellent. I'm not using the official software. I'm using my own because the rail driver is actually not plugged into this PC. It's plugged into a different PC, and then I've got all the rail driver magic happening across the network. Um, this machine is struggling enough just running the game. Still got yellow, which is good. Gone down to zero again. Stop being awkward. Uh, 
Um, Cameron's Gaming, the one says the 156, the AP142, possibly the JT153. No idea about the JP153. I know the 156 has almost can, has got exa almost exactly the same setup as the 150. Um, and um, the AP142 almost certainly will, like the AP540, almost certainly will need custom scripting to make it work. Anything that's advanced almost certainly isn't using the standard scripts. Right, coming up to Yatton, got another train coming in the other direction. With red lights on. Nice. Uh, Deadly Dorito, there is normally a German scenario at the stream, but I haven't got any to play at the moment. So, uh, I'm not find, having much luck finding any on Workshop to play, and I'm not getting any recommended at all. Um, so, I'm taking the view that if no one's suggesting a German scenario, then no one wants to see a German scenario. <laughs> How do you get rid of the train labels in the scenario? I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean the... Um, these things up here, like this bit up here? Because that's F6 and F7, get rid of those things. Because you can get some of them on the locos and some of them on the... Um, uh, on the... Uh, on the stopping points. You have a late Plymouth service behind you. Try to maintain speed as long as possible for breaking up all for the service to keep moving. Wall is 4.1. How much was the um, total in the 24 hour stream? It was uh, 3216 and some pennies. I can't remember what the pennies were, but 3216, which is just epically stunning. Well, a $700 gaming PC good enough to run tier 6 Oh, to be honest, I have no idea. Um, I would imagine so, but um, it really depends on the 700 meal, uh, on the 700, what the 700 dollars is spent on. Um, I mean, it won't run it brilliantly, fantastically well, um, but it will run it reasonably well, I would think. It, again, it depends on what you can get in your spec. Make sure it's try and keep it balanced as much as possible. Don't get massive graphics and tiny CPU or the other way around. You want to keep them reasonable. I mean, I certainly wouldn't worry about anything more than a Core i5. Um, of course, seven be great. You don't need it. I don't know what's going on here? Oh, I bet I know where it is. We've got a rail driver running on here. No, we might be running on the other machine. Here we are. Nope. In which case, I don't know why it keeps resetting. That's really annoying. How do you access the rail driver script? Well, I've got my own software, so I've got all my own custom. I've got, I can put custom scripts in to tweak how it behaves for individual locos. 
new marker system for RB. I don't know what you mean by new marker system, PC Fantastic. I didn't realise there was a new marker system. <laughs> Why not just use the keyboard or steam control? Well, I want to use the rail driver. That's why. My steam control was at work. Wall in 2.1 miles. Being as if, how many lines is my script? Depends what you mean by my script. I mean, I've got a custom. Um, there's a whole application uh, written in C sharp, which is quite long. It does all sorts of things. It drives the Logitech G19 keyboard. It drives Cytech throttle quadrant, Cytech joystick, the CH um, uh, the CH um, throttle setup. It drives. Um, oh, I keep putting stuff into the chat. No wonder nothing's working. It drives all sorts of stuff, um, uh, but the individual scripts for a loco are only about 30 lines long each. Some of them are five or six lines long each because it shares uh, it shares stuff. Um, so you only it only have to write one the stuff once and shares it across other locos. Homebound train, yes, I have seen the uh, Top Player X episode with the Jaguar and the Audi. I'd love to see that in train sim. For some reason it wants us into wall in about five minutes time, so it's somehow really, really early. OMG trains, when am I going to get the original laptop back? I've no idea. It's busy doing important things and that are more important than this, frankly. I will get it back when it's time to get it back. Doors open. Oh, nice. Thanks, um, Deadly de 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 Dorito. Did you see a 200% break? Again, it's the notches, so notch one breaking shows up as 100, notch two shows up as 200%. Oh, I need to change the uh going for Exeter, aren't we? for our window to leave. So wall is where the junction is. Um, so we're sitting at wall and then just down here uh, is the uh, is the junction. Now we're waiting for a HST coming the other way. Or it's this one up here actually. It could be this one. Yeah, it's that one. So we're waiting for that to come across and clear the switch, the point so that we can carry on.
Why are there people walking through the cab? I've got no idea. Is Yat and the new new new, new neighbor with you just like oh it's just like why is I miss it? Oh yeah, just uh, I think I was I've, I've got about ten seconds outside of the one minute or something daft. BMG Epic, I'll certainly take a look at the marshalling scenario. BNSF, can I show the whole map? Certainly. So that's Bristol. Up there. And you've got the Western Supermare branch and you carry on the main line. This is Taunton. And then we head down here to Exeter. There. And then essentially Riviera, Exeter to Paintham. You, 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 you can run that to carry on the journey. Yeah, I did the back destination. Cameron's gaming. And the front. We're all good, ready to go as soon as we get the opportunity. Right, good morning driver, there is a late western to Padding service coming out of the junction any minute, please wait the signal until the train has passed and the aspect has changed. Of course, I've just changed loco again, that's why. Uh, Amtrak 109, uh, I'm running a scenario someone's built, so I'm assuming it's uh, that they've tested. So red light up there, so I'm just coasting over there until the uh, until this HST comes in the other direction, gives us the line along. Uh, JPT, I'm using a different setup because a whole new. I've got a different machine here, which is uh, it's not great, but it's it's keeping us going. <laughs> Mr. Trainco, it's not bad if you're watching the NASA stream as long as you can watch them both. If you've got enough bandwidth, then that sounds good to me. Uh, 
Uh, right, okay, so I okay, certainly could do that. You could you could feed all of the data from the uh, the game into the chat. That's one of the things I was going to do is make it to where um, you could um, type sort of like exclamation mark stats or something, and then it would sort of tell you how fast it's going, what notch it is, and all the rest of it. Mad Drop Bear, um, I'm not aware of any problems at all with TS 2016 on Windows 10. Never have been. It's always worked really well. I'm not using Win 10, but that's just because this machine hasn't been upgraded. But then it will make my mistakes visible to everyone. Any more so than the fact that I'm streaming it live to everybody. I think everyone's pretty much used to my mistakes at this point. I can hear a HSD! King Twinkie, if you're having problems, um, then make sure you've raised a ticket and, and talk to the support team. Oh, yes, I should be using DRA, shouldn't I? Absolutely. Right, have a green. Right. Western Milton is next. Who are you going to miss the most, Fringe Stalin, on your two weeks away? Ride car, that map issue affects even Windows 8 users. It's down to the NVIDIA driver version. We're in a 40 limit at the moment, but as once we've cleared the junction, we're going to be up to 60. Enemy food, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Good evening, Francois. Enemy food. These, uh, this is a rail driver that I'm using here. It's uh, from PI Engineering. Uh, these displays are from SciTech, but they don't actually work with the game uh, as shipped. Um, I've got my own software that drives them. It's not working again. Yeah, it died again. Not my night tonight with this thing. Nah, D-Hassel won't get any uh, overshoot. This thing's got ridiculous brakes. <laughs> Enemy feed, you can get the controls from raildriver.com, which is all the levers and the buttons down here. Let me find out what's going on with my software here. I think what basically it is is I'm having network issues because the other machine's on the wireless, which is annoying. No, it's actually proper 
the crash this time. Absolutely. I really need to spend a bit more time doing debugging and cleaning out all the issues with this. Some days it works absolutely beautifully, and other days it's a bit special. Uh, it's probably not the best for you to leave it on, is it? <laughs> Better? No, nope, that's the brakes. Try that. Hey, we got rail driver again. Right, next station is uh, Western Superman. Right, that'll be a, a uh, warning because of oh, the drop of speed limit, probably. And Norfolk Southern has denied Canadian Pacific's offer to merge together. Well, that doesn't surprise me too much. Coming into Western Supermare Platform 2. Wow, it's got me coming in two minutes late. Wow, how did that happen? <laughs> Rob Allen, any previews coming soon? Um, probably. Um, keep an eye on Facebook and so forth. It's not for me to announce anything, to be honest. Um, it's for there for me to do the show, but uh, for Dovetail to do any announcements and previews. So once they've announced what what's going to happen, then I can talk a bit more about it, maybe. So that was that scenario. This was uh, two Yankee Zero Four Bristol to Western Supermare by D Hassel. Another very nice scenario. Good to drive the 150. I do like driving it. It's uh, it's quite responsive and it's got some nice features. Ladies and gentlemen, we're now at Western Supermare where this train terminates. All change, please. Right. That was good. Well, I enjoyed it, even though I got apparently no very little targets completed. But uh, never mind. Good scenario. Thanks, D. Hassel. Right, now. Um, let me think. Um... That one's what we want now. And I need to find the second scenario. So the second scenario is a, like a personal challenge.